Hello everybody and welcome back to our let's play of Nobunaga's Ambition. So I took a few days off because I got so excited during the last uh, time I, I sat down and wanted to record this uh, this let's play that uh, because I only released one video a day it actually made it to where I had to wait to play the game some more and I found myself craving playing the game even so much as I was thinking about like uh, playing a game you know, like, not recorded, um, just on my own time, but I just, I didn't want to do that because I, <laughs> you know, I think I've mentioned I prefer to do, for my Let's Plays, I prefer to do blind stuff because it, uh, I think it adds to the enjoyment for the viewer, for you guys, uh, because my reactions are very genuine. So, uh, basically what I'm getting at is that it was really hard to not uh, pull out Nobunaga's Ambition and play around with it a little bit. So I'm really enjoying the game so far. Uh, so I've had a few suggestions uh, also come in post-conquering of Nagashima. And basically uh, the suggestion was to do something with these guys here. Um, who are hanging out kind of just like seriously right in the middle of us. Either to basically ally them or to conquer them and I'll be honest with you I'm kind of leaning more in the direction of conquering them because um, it looks like they only have let's see I want us diplomacy yeah it looks like they only have two uh, two fortresses or two castles and they have it looks like uh, it just kind of confuses me because it says ally unlimited trust 20 neither hostile nor uninterested or nor interested so I don't really understand and there's an arrow going to us court trust court trust I don't know. I'm not really sure who these people are. The Kyosu Oda clan. Um, I'm just. I was kind of leaning towards conquering them because there's, they only have two fortresses, as I said, and I don't think it would be that difficult to do. Um, but the fact that it says allies unlimited kind of is weird to me. Ally unlimited. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're a part of our our line or something. But apparently, the only the only people they have a tie to is us. So, um, we should probably scout them out, which we can do. We can scout. Um, it does just cost money. It doesn't cost labor. Uh, doesn't look like they're gonna have much of anything, really. So we'll, let's just scout it out. We'll use Fancy Hat Man, the Fancy Hat Man, and we'll just scout there, and then next month we'll scout out uh, Inuyama and see what's up, and then that will give us two more places with which we can use to raise troops and get supplies from. So I'm still thinking that I want to uh, try to ally these guys before we go to war with them so they can march in for us. Because we have to go to war with these guys down here for our quest. It's still pretty... I'm like, not much time has passed since we've accepted the quest. I'm kind of under the assumption that the longer we take to complete this quest, the harder it's going to be. And if we wait until four years in, it's just... I think it, we just fail. So, interesting. So we have a little bit of like a, like a cut scene here, sort of. It uh, says, what an energetic kid. Oh, I've got it. He'll be a Nobukatsu when he comes of age. Your orders. Here's okay, I don't really uh, know what all that means, but all right. Um, total income. So thirty-four sixty-eight. Wow, we had a lot of income from trade that came in. Oh yeah, that was because we sold stuff. Like I said, it's been a few days, so sorry about that. Uh, looked around Shibata Castle, couldn't find anything. That's a bummer. Uh, one or more enemy castles has been scouted, and Nobusada has grown stronger. 
So, Nobuhita, Oda, gained Valor and Political Ability. Sweet. Jinbo, Ashikaga, and Honganji are now normal. And some officer abilities have increased. Yeah, yeah, we know about this. Hojo clan attacked Kogane Castle. We did some road work. They also attacked the Kawago Castle. They're pretty ambitious, it looks like. Um, okay, so Morishigi, Morishigi, or Shige, Sakuma's int went up. Good. Nobuka oh, okay, so he had a kid. That's what it was. Uh, he, had a, he had a kid, Nobukatsu. All right. Hidesada Hayashi's political ability went up. Good, good, good. Nobusada Oda gained statesman. All right, so he gained a trait. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, we have 10 labor, which means we have some tied up somewhere. I think, I'm trying to remember what we've got. We I know we have somebody tied up for like a multiple month thing. I think it was with road improvement. So we know one thing we're wanting to do is we're wanting to scout. So they've got 1,665 soldiers here. So let's see how many they have at Inuyama. And we'll just use um, Morishige, Morishige again. Okay. And all right, let's... So it's January. Hmm. Let's do some development, of course. Since that's what we do every month. Well, we know we're probably about to go into battle. So what makes the most sense to me is to go ahead and pump out some more conscripts. Well, here we're probably... What, what we need to do here really is we really need to uh, get some kind of... A district improvement that'll bump our conscripts up but we'll go ahead and go up to the max on that okay so we have two labor left uh, probably not really enough labor to do anything with how are our tribes doing right now ooh they have dwindled uh, we're only at 40 percent here and 63 percent here and they're now supporting Kyosu Oda all right okay so I think that's going to be our turn there. And then when we get the results back here, we'll kind of know what we want to do. I would assume what we're going to want to do is take that first base out that's closest to us and then march on their... Uh, I'm assuming the one further away is their main holding. If the one closest to us is their main holding, then I mean it's GG immediately. Okay, so we made more money than we spent. That's excellent. Reporting in. Uh, Sadakatsu, he scouted. Nobuhita gained something. Training has paid off. What happened? Okay, bases grew. That's good. Amago clan attacked Uishi Castle. Um, Morishige scouted. Large amount of ore discovered at Sakato Castle's mine. Cool. Uh, leadership went up. Good. Okay, now we're back up to 13 labor. So they have they have 1575 soldiers here and 1600 here. So this says that they're an ally. Hmm. I wonder if there's a ma like a malice if we attack them. Like does that going to like make us like a like a betrayer or something I mean it seems like there should be some kind of a uh, some kind of a negative to attacking an ally right what do you have to do you, can you call them up and be like we're done with you so we don't want to gain trust we want to negotiate with them we probably want to break the alliance before we attack them right Okay, so I haven't clicked on this before, so we have a little bit of tutorial dialogue. It says, negotiate command changes your diplomatic relationships with other clans. The four possible negotiations are alliance, marriage, dissolve, and vassal. Choosing alliance allows you to form a temporary alliance with another clan. It can last 6, 12, or 24 months. Longer alliances need more trust to form. An allied clan's trust will not fall below 20. Also, allies cannot engage in battle with each other. Okay, so you can't even attack an ally. 
Confusing marriage allows you to become relatives to the other clan, putting you into a permanent alliance. 100 trust is needed for marriage, and trust won't fall below 30 while relatives. Choosing dissolve allows you to end normal alliances, marriage alliances, and vassalage relationships. This worsens the foreign stance of surrounding clans. Hmm. Choosing vassal allows you to make the other clan your vassal if they are much weaker than you. Vassal clans have limited diplomacy with other clans, and their trust won't fall below 40. So maybe we could vassalize, vassalize these guys. Could we vassalize them? Would they accept vassalization? No. There's not enough power difference to make them submit. I see. So we could dissolve the alliance, but the thing that kind of worries me a little bit about dissolving this alliance is the fact that it's going to it's going to hurt our diplomatic stance with the tribes around us which isn't a huge deal for these guys down here because honestly we just really don't care um, but these guys up here is who I'm kind of worried about because they are not small they have holdings uh, kind of ringing us in around here and they're up in the mountains so you know, I'm not too worried about over here. Uh, these guys were also allied with. Yeah. So maybe it would be a better idea for us to butter these guys up then. And since we're already allied with them and everything. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and Let's butter these guys up. Let's just start the process. So, we want to perform diplomacy and gain trust with Kyosu Oda clan. We don't want to send an overseer. I also don't think we want to send Nobuhida. Uh, we we'll probably send Sadakatsu. He's kind of like our ace in the hole when it comes to like doing stuff. I don't know. Let's see what the difference is between sending him and Fancy Hat. So, three per month, basically, versus... Oh, well, it says right here. Duh. So, there's really no difference between sending him and sending him. So, I'm saying I'm thinking send him, and uh, it'll cost 600 a month. We can end it at any time if we end up needing some money. So, let's just do that. And if they get up above 40... They will send us relief forces. So, I think that's kind of what we're looking for, is having it above 40. So that they'll join our uh, invasion. Okay. Now we know, of course, that we're going to develop. I think let's go into crops. Conscripts. I already know we're doing crops there. What about Shibata? Conscripts. We're maxed out there. Crops. Uh, five labor left. Um, so we found a mine. What does that mean? What does that mean that we found a mine? I think that's a resource, right? So this, this is the place that is capped out on conscripts. So it would be really good if we could find a way to get some, like, bump up our... Uh, conscript ability down here would be really good. Now this is a military district. We could we could uh, build the drill grounds, so that would make the district slightly more suitable for conscripts. Um, could make a garden, but that would make adjacent districts suitable for conscripts. I think we're going to go with the drill grounds. It does cost a thousand gold, but I think it's worth it if it bumps up our, um, our, our total number of people. But if we do this, it's going to take him off Overseer, which means they're not going to get as much... They're not going to get as much, uh, farming done. That's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, he'll, he'll have it done in a month. Yeah, and that'll bump up our max conscripts there by quite a bit. So, I think it's worth it. And yeah, it 
took him off of the other job. So now we have it kind of it refunded that labor back. So we have three labor left. I'd like to have some guns. Yeah, guns would be really cool. So some treasures. The Hyogo Caddy. It's a tea set. Great Bay, the fine horse. And Hashidate Caddy, another tea set. Uh, apparently of a better grade. So I guess the lower number, the lower the number, the better. We don't want to buy any of that. Uh, what else could we do here? With our, th with our whopping three labor. Hmm... Well, I don't want to spend any gold. We could uh, improve some roads. That is an option. What are we looking at? So these roads are 505 now. They're maxed out. Let's take these up to 505. And it would have to be... Well, no, we can actually use uh, Sadakatsu again. So it'll take just over a month. That's fine. Me and my infrastructure. You know how much I love it. I always talk about it. Okay. Alright, well, I'm happy with that. So let's advance. Advance some time. See what happens. Your orders. Okay, let's see what's Here's up. Alright, so we did spend a lot of gold uh, in the last turn. A lot of Koku. Um, well, that's okay. Uh, looks like he has gained some ability scores. Let's check it out. Okay, so we started adding the drill grounds. Good. Uh, his political ability went up to 93. So he's definitely awesome at political things. Hidesada Hayashi's int went up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good job, guy. Okay, so it's uh, I guess it's spring now. Everything looks pretty pretty nice and green. We can see our uh, diplomatic trust went up to 23, which is good. We're, uh, we have 12 labor to play around with. So let's do some development. Crop. We're cropping it up. Conscripts. And conscripts. Wow. Oh, because it took him off overseer. Okay, there we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. I was like, why is it? Why is it only going up ten? That's horrible. All right. And what else do we want to do? I think we're going to sit tight on that. Well, actually, let's look and see if what Nagoya has going on here. So agricultural, military. We, we, it would be good for us to um, bump up our conscript cap in Nagoya because we're getting really close to it. So to that end, we could uh, make a drill grounds. We could also go garden, which makes adjacent districts suitable for conscripts. To be honest with you, I'm just not real sure about how this works. Like... It makes them suitable for conscripts, but my adjacent districts right now, if I look at them, so I've got this, which is an agricultural district. Does that mean, does that mean that they're going to produce crops and conscripts? That's, that's my thing. Like, I don't want to do that if it's going to flip these over to conscripts, which I don't see how it could. But, you know, the thing is, like, if we build the, uh, the first one here, then, yeah, we're going to see a bump in our, in our conscript cap just because of this place. It seems like the other one, the second one, the, um, the garden is really good for like centrally located districts if it's working the way I think it works why don't let's just do it let's just do it let's just see how it works let's just do it so let's build a garden and it could this could be a colossal mistake and if it is then hey I've learned so yeah max conscripts in Nago hmm so I guess that's not going to help us popularity restoration go up so no we're not gonna do that it's not even going to affect our conscript cap. 
So instead, let's just go with the um, the drill grounds. Yeah, that's a huge bump. It's worth it. Might have to sell some supplies, but that's fine because harvest is in just like six months. So we, uh, I think at that point, we're down to like 2,700 gold. What's the price what right now? Like? Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't, no, I don't want any of that. I don't want to buy, we want to sell. So it's trading a little bit under one for one. Hmm. It's not a real good rate, but it's probably going to drop, well, let's hold off till next month and see what, see what next month brings. Next month, maybe the price will go up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if it's random or if it's, if it's seasonally dependent. Like, I could see it on one hand being like, on one hand, I could see it being random because that's kind of how like Romance of the Three Kings was. But on the other hand, I can justify it in my head also like crops don't come in until the fall. So people are running low on crops. You guys see what I'm saying. Okay, so what's this? It says, after the death of the great ru ruler Ujichika Imagawa, who had played a larger role in the growth of the Imagawa clan, he was replaced by the young Ujiteru Imagawa. Unlike Ujichika, Ujiteru was not fit to rule the clan, and due to the fact that he was prone to falling sick, his mother, Jukini, sometimes called the female daimyo, advised him in political matters. Yujitero died mysteriously, which led his two younger brothers, who had left to train as Buddhist priests, to fight over who would inherit the clan. That's not very Buddhist of them. Those two brothers were Etan, Itan, don't know, Ginko, Yoshizane Imagawa, and Shoho Baigaku, Yoshimoto Imagawa. Ha ha ha, he says. Who's this Sesai Taigen? What are you laughing about? Surely you don't believe you have won this battle. No, it's not that. When I think about all the people involved in this ugly feud, I can't help but laugh. Oh, what do you mean? We have Sesai Taigen, my master, Jukini, my mother, Etan Ginko, my brother, Yoshimoto Imagawa, myself. All of us are in the service of the Buddha, and yet look at us quibbling about a worldly matter like the succession of a clan. What times these are? Do you not find it amusing? Lord Yoshimoto, you would do well to keep one thing in mind. What's this? A lecture? No matter how chaotic the world may be, the teachings of the Buddha are the truth. However, there are no Buddhas in this age of war. So that means there are none but demons here. Learn from the Buddha, but do not let yourself become a Buddha. I see. Then I suppose I will have to become a demon and win no matter what it takes. Yoshimoto had two talented guardians watching over him, Jukini and Sasai. On the other hand, Yoshizane had the support of the chief Imagawa retainers and the Fukushima clan. However, Yoshimoto was the son of his father's legal wife, Jukini, whereas Yoshizane, uh, despite being the older brother, was the son of a concubine. Therefore, Yoshimoto had the upper hand in this dispute. So I don't know uh, how that's Your going orders. to, if that's really going to affect us at all. I mean, I would say that strife within an, another clan uh, is a good thing. And I think that's the clan that is tenuously allied with the clan that we're going to be trying to take out. So maybe they'll be so busy with their own uh, with their own problems that they won't intervene. But Okay, so I think um, that's probably a pretty good place for us to stop this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's been a lot of basically just developing, 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 but we are getting ready for war. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, before we can go to war, I need to do a few more things, I think. Uh, I want to try to butter up this ally that we're trying to work on right now, and I want to uh, get our clan support back up as well. And then maybe we will look at uh, going at it with these people. So, all right, guys, thank you for joining me, and until next time, game on.